Good luck, everybody. In this, this box break where you can see the hit first, it is a, a Gaelic Empire extra fine double denarius from 20, 260 AD to 269 AD. Uh, this is going to be one of the digit type breaks. We're going to find out who gets what digits. The winning digit we already know is 8 from looking at the coin and matching the last grading digit on the coin up. We know that if you hit the number 8, you're going to hit the coin. So good luck, man. It's a really nice piece. And, well, it's see the hit first. So somebody we know is going to hit something really awesome. Somebody's going to hit something really awesome. So uh, let's get on with the break. But the first thing we're going to do is run the filler right now. And the filler uh, winner gets two digits. Shuffle seven times, two, three, four, five, six. Lucky number seven. On your mark, get set, go. Well, there you go, Jack and the baby blue. So much race left, but that was a good little sprint there. A lot of race left. Five, four, three, two, one. Jack T, congratulations. That is two digits right there. That is two digits for you, man. Way to go, bro. You are in it. You got your two digits from Filler C. So that was our filler and uh, you can see what's going on here we've got our different winners from previous fillers going into the pile of owner names and let's start at the random good luck everybody and our see the hit first coin rip a ruski we're gonna see who gets which digits and the winning digit is number eight so let's see what what we got here seven times through for the owner names seven times through for the digits this is lucky number seven and the first random is finished now for the numbers random Seven times. Lucky number seven. Now you can see your digit in the rip. So I believe it was number eight, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was number eight. Let's let's look at it and just confirm what the what the uh, hit is is got here on the code. It is number eight, and that means Joe. Congratulations, Joe. You got a really nice hit, man. That is a very cool coin to have coming your way. Roman. Double denarius. Extra fine grade. And I believe it came out of the 2013 hoard. Yeah, 2013 contained thousands of ancient coins found in Great Britain. 
out of that horde. And uh, they were that's 260 AD, man. That's like 2,000 years ago, dude. 1,800 years ago, whatever, man. It's it's a long time ago that uh, this currency was being used. So a really neat piece of you know human history. It's not even it's not even Roman history. It's human history, man. When you're talking about that far back in time. So anyway, really cool. And uh, what a fun thing right there. We'll have another one of these uh, kinds of breaks available um, coming your way really soon. I think right now, if you were looking for something similar to that, if you liked it, uh, you we do have a that like uh, something a little more. Uh, this one isn't as expensive. This one's a little cheaper. Um, Ten spots, same thing. See the hit first. And this one is a Judea Bronze Pruta of Macca Maccabean Kings. Um, are you serious? We're going BC? Now this this will be the record for the oldest pull here at Friendly Collectibles. That, that would be the record. I've never hit anything uh, BC. So that, that would take the cake right there. And it looks like it comes with some story uh, about the widow's might. I don't know much about this coin, but anyway, it is the same type of break. Um, it's thirteen fifty to get in this one, so maybe this one doesn't need the fillers that the last one. You know, we're doing a lot of fillers leading up to it. Uh, this one, uh, maybe I will make a filler for it. I don't know, but either way. It could end up going really fast because it is it is much cheaper. It's thirteen fifty for a digit. So anyway, uh, it looks like a neat story here. I'm gonna try to pull that up, and it looks like good read. So let me get you a link to this. Here it is. And it's just gonna take me a minute to link it up because the link is so long. I have to kind of like fix it up a little bit first Oh, good luck, Brock Spomber. And guess what? Your dad's Cameron arrived today. Your dad's Cameron arrived here today, so it's going to be shipping to you really soon. That is here. I actually have that in my hand. I haven't opened the envelope yet, but that's what it is. Maybe I can show that, that off to you. I'll go ahead and open the envelope here. Let me see. Here's your dad's Cameron, bro. Boom. Pretty cool, eh? All right. Uh, I don't know the story. I don't know the story with him. Wow. I have, to, I, have to, I have to do a read on that one too. I was getting ready to start reading about the coin. I did not know he. He. I guess he passed away. All right, so I finally got this thing able to link up here.
Yeah, I'll make some kind of filler for this. Um, I'll make something fun. I'll probably do like we have it done as filler where one winner gets three digits for like eight bucks.
ahead and made that filler just now. So we're going to start off with seven left in that, that particular coin break with a new filler. Uh, you can see if you like the odds or if the feel, filler feels lucky and hop in. I'm going to be linking that up in a moment. Should be able to link both of those up. Uh, yeah, big league. Yes, that that would be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, here's a link to big league baseball. To if you're thinking about big league, uh, here is what it's all about. Five ninety nine gets you in. There are some really nice hits in here. It is really cheap, and the the checklist is really good. The values are really good on eBay. Everything. That's a great, that's a good break. There's no doubt about it. It's really cheap. Five parallels. One of the figures come out. You can hit an autograph. The rookie cards look good. Everything looks good. It's a, it's a pretty nice looking product. So here is the, um, one I've been telling everybody about here for the past few minutes. So there it is. Okay, this is the filler. So in this filler, there are three code numbers up for grabs. There's only 10 spots, so you're winning three of them. Uh, and you, you have like a 30% chance to, if you were to win the filler, you could get this coin for $10.25 pretty easy because uh, you'll have three of the digits. So for 1025, you could end up hitting this. A regular spot costs 13, but in this scenario, you win three spots for 1025. So there's a big difference between three spots and one spot. And uh, but a regular spot is 1350. But uh, this is for the filler spot. So you're gonna win three spots if you win the race here. So yeah, that, that's a lot of fun, man. You can see the hit first. And it looks like there's a really interesting story about this, this coin um, minted during the time of Jesus. The smallest coin used during the life of Jesus was a Prutal coin minted by Maccabee Dynasty from 140 to 40 BC. So this dates uh, right in that era, 135 BC, 130 or 135 to 37 BC. So yeah, that fits in that time era um, of the coinage used during during that time era. Since the Maccabee uh, Pruta coins were in circulation for so many years, most of them are extremely worn. High grade examples are seldomly seen. So um, I guess it was in circulation. I mean, like 200 years. Uh, or 150 years or something like that. It was in circulation a long time, maybe 100 years, whatever. Uh, it looks like 100 is, is right. But anyway, so yeah, that makes it okay. They got worn down pretty bad because they were in circulation so long. That's the point. You can make something out there. It looks like a, I don't know what it looks like. What is that? Like an animal? 
Uh, I wish we had a picture of what this is supposed to look like. It says a widow's mite. But I think that's from a story. Yeah, that's that's uh, that that that's a biblical story, but that doesn't have anything to do with the picture on the coin. So I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to Google that. What is the coin supposed to look like? I guess they're all worn down. Okay, a, a pomegranate is featured in the center uh, right here, surrounded by two curving horns known as cornucopias. Okay, so the, the, that was the big uh, that was the big crop produced around there. And then the symbols of the Holy Temple. And then you got a Hebrew inscription on the reverse. With a wreath okay so this is i think uh this is the i think this is the inscription side and this is the side with the horns and the pomegranate that's what it looks like to me <laughs> that's my best guess. that looks like writing this looks like a picture so that must be the palm grand and the horns <laughs> anyway it's a really neat ancient coin that's our oldest hit if we pull this it's gonna be the oldest hit we've ever pulled for anybody around here at friendly collectibles we have all kinds of things going on around here so uh, we're excited for all kinds of stuff instant pack rips whatever we got stuff going on. We feel like Rippin' Lewis, you're into the Star Wars Fine Art Prints. Uh, Mallory is in regular Dunruss. Good luck, Mallory D. Um, yeah, we got regular Dunruss coming up, man. Let's do that one. <clears throat> Craig's in the filler for the uh, Break King. Eventually, man, this is going to rip. We're going to be ripping into that. Larry got in big league. We've been talking about big league baseball for how cheap it is and all. Jack's in the filler. Big league baseball. Kenneth D. Kenny D. I think the filler's ready to go. Yeah, I'll take on big league. A lot of folks getting on big league right now. So these are actually our three hottest, I think, at the moment. Filler F for breaking. Is happening right now. <laughs> 